Hello YouTube, I'm Ephraim225, hope you guys are having a nice day, and I hope you like this new layout I decided to try out for a change of pace. Uh, on today's video, I'm going to be playing Advance Wars Dual Strike again. Now, one of the game modes that I don't really see played a lot on YouTube, like, I see this on occasion, there are walkthroughs of it, but one of the modes that I don't see talked about a whole lot is the Survival Mode, which is an interesting take on Advance Wars even though, much like the rest of Dual Strike's content, I don't think it was executed perfectly. Dual Strike just has a lot of interesting ideas, but they don't get played properly, in my opinion. That goes for a lot of stuff in Dual Strike. And uh, Survival Mode is yet another one of those ideas. Survival Mode puts you through 11 straight maps, but it limits one of your resources in uh, some way. And there are three different Survival Modes for that, so let's check them out. There is, I'm going to start a new game of course, there's Money Survival, Turn Survival, and Time Survival. Money Survival will limit the amount of money you can spend, Turn Survival limits the number of turns you can take, and Time Survival limits your real time that you're allowed to take. So, uh, speedrun, low turn count, and um, efficiency I guess? I guess that's how it works. Let's start with Money Survival because I think it's the funniest. Now the big flaw in all three of these- oh by the way, there's the basic course which just puts you through every map once, and then there's the champion course which makes you loop back to the first map endlessly. So kind of an arcade mode to be honest. So in my opinion the big flaw of the survival modes is that, like for money and turn survival especially, there's at least one CO that you know you're going to pick because you'd be crazy not to. Can you guess who that's going to be? Uh, this player that I got the save file from has already selected them. It's Colin, of course, because he has power of money. Actually, in Money Survival, you can't generate more money with, like, Gold Rush and Sasha's superpower, but Colin has power of money and spends less money on units. So, of course, we're going to use him. And uh, this is Vanilla Dual Strike, by the way, not the patch that adds all of those skills and stuff. Even though it would probably be interesting to play these modes with uh, that patch. So basically, I'm just going to take these skills that reduce your cost even further. And for the remaining skills, star power to get the power of money faster, and um, what else should I pick? There's, like a lot of these come in handy at some point, but not a huge amount. I think I'm going to take Soul of Hachi. Now this is a skill that you unlock after beating Hard Campaign. It will give you Hachi's ability to deploy in cities during your superpower but it doesn't reduce the cost of those units. So you gotta keep that in mind. So now we've got power of money and we can deploy in cities during power of money. That's great, huh? I actually, I'm actually not certain, like 100%, who the second CO should be. Now normally I just roll with Hachi, so I think I'm gonna do that. And of course he is going to, that's, that's not the skill I want. I'm going to give him the money skills as well. He doesn't need Soul of Hachi because he is Hachi. That would be really weird. Which I guess begs the question of what to pick. You can't do you can't do the uh, skill that gives you more money from bases because you're actually not going to be generating income. So... A lot of these are just situational. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to get Pathfinder, which will reduce the movement cost of all units to 1 in woods. I have no idea if that's going to be super helpful. Like, I remember a lot from this mode, but I don't have, like, all the paths memorized or anything. So, let's begin. And on this first map, you can kind of see a running problem with uh, Dual Strike Survival Mode. Because we are up against three Neo Tanks, I wonder what the strategy for this is going to be. Do we buy uh, Neo Tanks? No, we buy infantry and get them going on the silos, of course. Look at these price reductions, this is nuts. So, um, you might have noticed that we have half a million gold, that's how much you start with in Money Survival. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Like, did they not know what Power of Money does? So yes, you start with half a million gold, and uh, you can't generate any more by any means. But what you can do is, um... Like, you can use power of money, and all, all of that money just contributes to your, uh, superpower boost, and that's gonna be crazy. I hope I didn't accidentally leave the medium tank in range of this Neo tank. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so going in the forest should be alright. Okay, cool. 
Because we're going to launch silos on the next turn. You know, I could have... Actually, I could have switched to Hachi, and then I could have fired on the uh, first Neo Tank straight away. That's rather rather silly of me. Because with Pathfinder, I would have been able to actually move into this forest, but that's fine. Your turn count doesn't really matter. I mean, the game is going to score you based on power, speed, and technique like usual, but they only go up to 50, and there are plenty of maps where you cannot get uh, 50, 50, and 50. So, with this... Actually, I should have switched to Hachi anyways, because that would have increased my firepower, but this is fine. Uh, 36... Yeah, that was uh, pretty much a guaranteed kill. Also, it seems Jess has zero income on this map, despite having an HQ. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if the enemies also get zero income. They probably do, because... Like, if they had income, then they could infinitely repair their units, while your resources would be limited yourself. So it won't be long before I trap this Neo Tank. And there we go. One down, ten more to go. Won't this be nice? I might have to split this into two parts, I don't know. Oh, I was just shy of 150. I'm pretty sure the points don't matter. Like, if you make it to the end, you're probably going to get an S rank anyways. And I think I will save as I go, just in case I make a mistake and need to uh, start over. Bad Pangea, this map is called. That's probably not how you pronounce it. So, it's literally just Sammy with an APC and an infantry, but your bases are surrounded by mini cannons. So, the question is what to do here. Like, if I had a firepower boost for the artillery, then I could probably just use two artillery and take them down. So... Artillery, artillery... She takes a while to get to the HQ, so... Maybe go like this. Actually, that probably works. Alright, I'm gonna switch to Hachi, because this will, um... This will take away Colin's firepower penalty. And it gives us the very relaxing Hachi music. Actually, I'm not I'm not gonna finish off the mini cannon quite yet. Let's wait. Now, if I had finished off the mini cannon with a tank, then Sammy would have avoided going into the range of the tank. So let's see here. I probably wanted to focus the infantry. Because it's going to start capturing. At least I think it'll start capturing. Uh, second tank? They're more expensive with Hachi. Yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, we have half a million gold to work with. I think we can get through 11 maps like that. Oh, and... Uh, naturally, that <laughs> the APC is going to be running away now. And it's going to be running away through mini cannon range. Okay, so this, this got a little bit dicey. Like, I probably should have fired at the, uh... Probably should have fired at the APC first. Ah, uh, what do I do here? Well, I could destroy this mini cannon. Like, there's no reason to destroy mini cannons, but, like... See, this is gonna be annoying because... Oh, there was a mini cannon on the outer corner here! I didn't realize that, actually. Okay, so you see this this map kind of runs into a little problem. This APC is now on the run, and I don't really... I'm going to avoid that mini can range. Jeez, look at that. So yes, if I had played it perfectly, then this wouldn't be happening. Now I have to chase the APC around because I don't want to spend any more money. But it should be trapped here. Okay, there we go. It should be over now. I can already imagine, imagine this is like a train wreck to some people, but whatever. Two down, nine to go, and <laughs> it's already been ten minutes. Rematches are free, says Hachi. Oh, I haven't mentioned yet, but the power meter that you build up, it actually carries over between maps, and this is one of the more interesting parts of survival mode. 
Because with the power meter, like, actually transferring over between maps, you can actually really strategize. Maybe save a power for the next map instead of using it on the current one. Alright, so naturally we're up against the money COs, and, um... Yeah, I think you can imagine what the strat is here. We have to capture all these comm towers in order to make the fight with those units over there that much easier. So let's begin. And I suppose these can move forward. Like, it's kind of interesting, if you actually lose these two units, then the run is over. Or at least you have to restart the map, because then there's no way to destroy all of the green units. At least Colin is getting a firepower penalty, but Sasha does not. And, and these two are getting money now. So if Sasha decides to uh, use her regular power, that might actually be a little bit annoying. Also, I should have switched to Colin in order to buy things, but nothing I can do now. So this is actually a bit of a slow map, in my opinion. I might have played it a little bit incorrectly, but I guess I can't really do anything about that now. I want to capture this one as quickly as possible, because if you, like, slowly capture them one at a time, then the one here might elude you, because the enemy will stop you from getting to it. Can they get to me from there? I don't think Colin's medium tank can get to me. Nope. I could actually start fighting now if I wanted to. 56. I've got three towers, so I think I will get started on that right now. Nothing they have can hit me. This mega tank is way too slow. So, um... I need a fairly strong unit in order to get rid of the mega tank here, so I have to actually buy something. So I'm gonna switch to Colin. Oh, now that the artillery is up against uh, the wall here, what should I do? I'm gonna pull them back. Probably a better idea for now to pull them back. Because the rocket can hit one of them and the other thing can hit the other thing. <laughs> I'll figure out what I'm trying to say eventually. Alright, Neo Tank time. Neo Tanks are always way more, like, efficient than medium tanks, if you have to pick between one or the other. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Mega Tanks still can't get to me, but that's fine. Definitely time to get the get the combat part started. With all those comm towers, this is a lot of damage, of course. Uh, the mega tank still can't get to me, right? Perfect. I might need like one more neo tank, but the game expects you to be able to beat a mega tank with a neo tank and a regular tank on the green side. So I think that's probably okay. That was a very strange move just now. Okay, so this should be a one-shot. And this will... I'm gonna have to spend some money on repairs, but that's fine. Same for down here, I think. Ah, but looky what I have now. Now it's over for them. Because my super is ready. Oh, but I gotta remember... Like, I remember my strategy from back when I played this. Um, I want to end this map with Hachi as the active CO, so I'm probably going to Power of Money and then switch to Hachi. The reason for that becomes clear in the next map. 
Oh, I should have bought another. I should have bought another Neo Tank. All right, so this just got really interesting. Because I'm not sure, even with even with power of money, I'm not sure that I can. By the way, joining doesn't generate more money for you either. Okay, so if I make the Mega Tank run out of ammo. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I will need power of money, but I definitely need another Neo Tank. Alright, so no power of money. But do switch to Hachi. Ah, uh, it was especially good to switch to Hachi because now I can use that Pathfinder skill. Just go right up to the rocket and bang. I guess the computer doesn't account for the Pathfinder skill. Oh, but this infantry is... It's going to be way in the back. So this might take a couple of extra turns. Because it decided to retreat to the HQ and start getting repairs. This is turning into a train wreck already. Oh, I shouldn't be leaving the... <laughs> well, I'm dumb. I'm leaving the Neo Tank on the city and it's getting repaired, which is spending my money. I can't believe I'm doing that. Oh. Well, I must be one dumb bunny after all. Alright, it wanted to move a tile closer to uh, save me a turn. Nice and uh, courteous of them. All right, three down, eight more to go. This map is almost like a copy of um, Bean Island. It's very similar, at least. So we're up against Nell and you can see that we have some cities very close to her. So what I like to do is... I could activate a super and just, uh... Actually, I could activate a tag power because I could build on this. I think that's what I did back in the day, actually. Uh, use a tag power, get some infantry in these cities, and, um... Yeah. Sounds like what I should do. Tag power it is. To heck with this! That's what I'm thinking. Because this... This tag is actually amazing, if you ask me. Because you can build out of the cities. And I know I'm going to get a second turn. So what I'm going to do is... By the way, this is the biggest price reduction ever. Because um, the Hachi Super also reduces your cost. Wait, actually, I need to think about this. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see here. What do I want to make? Recon, uh, recon, and, um, do I want a third recon? Yeah, probably. Three recons is probably the way to go. And unfortunately, I can't demonstrate just how massive the firepower boost is here. But what I'm aiming for is I'm actually, I built recons just so I could block off the bases. That was the purpose of that power that I just did. I used an entire tag power to block off two of the bases. Nell is probably going to build just a regular old infantry. Yeah, that's what she did. And with three recons surrounding it, you can destroy it for an instant route victory. And you can only do that with um, Hachi in a tag power, by the way. So yeah... Um, that's pretty much the best pair of COs to use for this mode, I think, is to just do Hachi colon. I'm sure there's going to be another map where Hachi's uh, power is useful. Like, maybe on this one? Oh, no, of course, all the cities are blue. 
All right, so you're up against Rachel, and what you have to remember is that Rachel can actually repair one extra HP per turn, and she has a lot of cities to get the money for this from. So, this is a tricky situation to be in. You've got rockets and a pipe runner. And she's definitely going to start blowing open the pipe scenes. So we can take the pipe runner and first put it here. And the rocket can go here. The idea is to cover where the where you think the mega tank is going to be. In fact, I'm not even sure I need to really build anything, but I'm going to switch to Hachi to make sure that the um, that I don't have that firepower penalty. So yes, there's that was nowhere near enough damage to um, actually make any progress on the mega tank. But it's either going to go left or right, and I guess I guess the APC should stay up here until I know which direction it's going in. Until you know which direction it's going to go in, you should not... Like, just because it blew up the right side pipe seam doesn't really mean it's going to uh, go to the right either. So it could go... It could also go over here. However, it, if it decides to go left, I think it usually goes left. So let's take one more turn to see... Yeah, it went to the left. So that means it's definitely going to be on this city on the left here. So let's set that up. Maybe the rocket could have moved all the way over here. But I think I want to build another rocket there. She'll go for the pipe and then you can just, um... Then you can unload on her. So she's stuck at 6 health. Next turn she'll be at 6 health, because she repairs. And will she go for the pipe seam on the left, or...? Yeah, that's what she did. I think this should finish her off, I'm not sure. No! She's in the blind spot, I can't believe that. But she has to fire at the pipe again. So this is fine. Everyone can get in position now. Seven health is not easy to overcome, though. It's five health, and... Okay, that's good. We're good. I thought I had made a mistake there. So, how many maps is that? And it's been, like, 22 minutes. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said this mode was time-consuming, and you have to repeat this dozens and dozens of times for the medals. Like, the medals not only track how many times you complete the regular course, but it also tracks how many maps you've cleared in general, and it wants you to clear 150 maps in every survival mode. It's so awful. I think it wants you to clear them, like, ten times or something. Which means you can't even get all of your, uh, um, all of your map clearing done by just, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Let's leave it at that. Alright, so we're up against Kindle, and um, she has a bunch of mega tanks. So naturally, the missile silos are going to come in handy once again, and so are the comm towers. I wish I had a, um, I wish I had a power of money ready, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Should I get in position for firing the silos? I'm not going to be here for a little while, so I think I can afford to start capturing. There's a neutral base in the middle of all these comm towers, by the way. I prefer... I don't really, like, I could capture it, but I don't really see what the point of that would be. I just need, like, two units a turn, and extra infantry doesn't really make much of a difference. Alright, time to get my guys in position for the silos.
And now it's time to build some tanks. Uh, they're expensive, but I'm gonna get the mediums. If I had a power of money ready, then I would definitely use, like, um... Would definitely be using regular tanks, because then that would be more than enough. Also, does anyone have any idea why the bottom row of the map has a bunch of pipe seams? What is the purpose of these? They do absolutely nothing. Besides make you accidentally, like, click one when you're trying to launch the silo, I guess. Alright, so they're gonna join on the next turn. They're definitely going to try and join in order to... Oh, I hope I get lucky with this roll. Ah, uh, yeah, I should have switched, uh... Yeah, switching to Hachi would have made more sense, actually. But I guess I need some more mediums anyways. But I don't need to worry about them firing, because they're all going to just join. Except for the one that's at 6 health that might decide to fire. Nope, it didn't actually. Oh, and she's gonna... This is actually gonna sting even worse, because... It's gonna, like, it's gonna force those medium tanks to spend my money healing. That's so awful. I guess this is one of the maps that I just don't know how to play. It's like I must have played through it a dozen times and I still don't really know for sure. Alright, time to get you back here for repairs. It looks like I am going to have to start doing some repair work. Um, a power of money might be ready on the next turn, actually, because, you know, this is Dual Strike. Your powers uh, get filled up really, really fast. So I do, in fact, have a power of money, but um, only one tank is out right now. Uh, I guess I have to spend even more money. This is turning into a very expensive map. Like, I still have 300,000 left, so this is gonna be one sick power of money, but... Yeah, I de it's definitely possible to win that one with far, far less gold spent. So here it goes. Power of money with over 300,000 in the bank. How much do you think it's gonna do? Oh, is this a comm tower? That's a base, but whatever. So, uh... You like power of money, everybody? I love Colin so much. Yeah, spending... Spending the money on the extra medium tank... Like, I... I the 7 HP medium tank probably could have got the job done. But whatever. Like, you... Like, I, I should point out that I'm only trying to make it to the end. I'm not trying to, like, set a world record for money spent or anything. 